Welcome to Spiritual Truck Talks. I'm Pastor Barbara and this is the cab of my truck. Thank you for subscribing or liking uh, Spiritual Truck Talks, whichever platform you're on. If you'll give me a good thumbs up or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I'm going to complain and whine a little bit. I am tired. I am weary. I am numb reading the news and hearing the numbers of how many cases and how many people are dying. I'm weary of hearing of friends, uh, a friend's mother who passed away in a nursing home and they were unable to visit her. I grieve that another friend of mine is actively dying in the hospital and we can't visit her except by Zoom. And I can't uh, tell you the sadness I have another friend who died in the hospital without my being able to say goodbye to her. Although I know she knew I loved her. It's a weary time and it's a time when the morning becomes numbing. And so I turn to Psalm 30. And thank you, by the way, for subscribing to Spiritual Truck Talks. Verse, Psalm 30, verse 5b. Weeping may linger for the night, but joy comes with the morning. I have to have hope. I have to have hope that there will be a morning of laughter and joy after this experience. Even in the midst of it. Now in the message paraphrase of Psalm 30 verse 5b, it says, The nights of crying your eyes out give way to days of laughter. How often I found it that there's been a night or a time when I've been crying my eyes out or lamenting and, and I can't imagine that the darkness will ever go away, but then the sun comes and raises up and the joy comes. The nights of crying your eyes out give way to days of laughter. Choose hope. Let's choose hope. Let's choose to have faith. I'm talking to myself here. And then verse 11 through 12 of Psalm 30. God, you did it. You changed wild lament into whirling dance. You ripped off my black mourning armband and decked me with wild flowers. I think about the super bloom of poppies that we had in California not too long ago and all the people who trekked out to the desert areas or the more rural areas to see these beautiful flowers. So you ripped off my black morning ban and decked me with wild flowers. I'm about to burst with song. I can't keep quiet about you, God. God, my God, I can't thank you enough. Let us choose hope. Let us choose faith. I, faith. I love that last line that said, God, I can't thank you enough. And it's true. God, I can't thank you enough. And I can't thank people enough. I don't think we can overdo thanking. Even if somebody's just doing their job, their job that they're paid to do, I think why not share some hope and some joy by thanking them for doing something well and faithfully that doesn't always get noticed? A thank you costs us nothing. Even when people are imperfect, we can thank them for showing us humanity, for showing us that God's love doesn't need us to be perfect, but that we can be vulnerable and will survive. Dark nights give way to joyful whirling dance. I'm weary and I'm tired, but I choose to have hope and I choose to believe that there is a morning coming with sunshine and laughter and joy. And I pray this, it will be so for you too. And in the meantime, let us look for every opportunity we can to laugh and find joy and to take care of yourselves, please. See you next time. Thanks again for subscribing or liking Spiritual Truck Talks.
I'm out of here. I think I'll go take a nap.